Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation, and hope elect out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hope elect, the believers, the listeners who may have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Al Shah? All right, what I want to get into <clears throat> today, Lord willing, you know, is back to the basics, you know, dealing with how E is not in control, okay? E is not in control, Esau is not in control, and what we're seeing is the devil reacting to prophecy, okay? And prophecy is what it represents the will of you, how about Shema Al Shah on the earth. You know, what we're seeing is the prophecy has the devil on the back foot. You know, like the elder brother I would want, you know, always makes the point. All right, uh, hey, brother, out of, uh, Alabama, Birmingham, out of um, GMS Birmingham camp. And um, Esau is not sitting comfortable trying to establish his NWO. All right, he's scrambling. Okay, and you can tell by his tackiness. Okay. You can tell by how he has, you know, so much going on at the same time, all right, that this man is moving in desperation, you know, because time is working against this devil's scheme, okay? And he, you know, I say he can feel, you know, that his grip, okay, is loosening. That's why he's finna go into the, the spirit of a madman sparing none. That's gonna be an act of desperation, okay? The fact that he's trying to destroy you know he him himself is trying to dismantle what you got what you um what you call a controlled demolition of his own kingdom to try to establish more control okay this is what this devil is doing he's trying to dismantle this current kingdom okay that's why you have a they talk about a new order he wants to bring in a new order where he has more control okay and his whole agenda is he going to present it as an upgrade, okay? He going to present the salvation from the chaos that he wants to establish in the earth, <laughs> you see? But this is all happening because he's reacting to prophecy, man, okay? And let's get some precepts. I said, we're going back to the basics, man. Proverbs 20 and 24 says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Now, the Lord has this devil in motion, okay? Every agenda that this devil has, okay, ultimately the Lord orchestrated that from the beginning, all right? And we're just seeing this devil play it out. And when you go to um, your word goings, okay, which is in the Hebrew is um, um, my Matazayad, all right, which means step. When you go into it in the in the Edom, all right, which is um to all right, which means to step, to march, to scribe, okay, to cause to march. So even when you talk about a plan, you know, when you talk about an agenda, okay, if you have a plan, even in the world, they had a thing called what seven step program okay a 10 step plan you know to saving money or whatever okay it talks about the steps so all the steps all the phases that, that esau's agenda it's the most high that's controlling those steps man every phase that he goes into man when he he did the you know the shutdowns and the, and the demic you know, which took this thing to another phase, you know, which was another step in the direction of his, you know, his new order. All right. Well, guess what? The Lord controlled, all right, all this man's step. Every war he don't fall, every, you know, scheme and, you know, coup and overthrow, everything that this man has done, the Lord has orchestrated each step because it's bringing him work. All right. And in fact, Let's get that, you know, um, okay? Because this devil used to be in control, 
You see, did I say this? This new order is about control because he has the resources. See, uh, we operate with this monopoly money. Okay, we operate with with, with you know the, the the bills and you know social security card. We operate on that level. This devil is on a whole another level when it comes to wealth. He has the he has the, the resources. He has the source. Okay, of wealth, which is the resources, man. Okay, lands, people. Okay, <laughs> so this whole new order is about control. All right, because he feels control slipping. So when you go here to the book of Job, the 18th chapter. All right, this Job 18. I want to get down to the point. This whole chapter is good. This Job 18 and and 14. It says, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, okay? And tabernacle represents your dwelling, you know? Or it will represent, you know, pretty much your, um, you know, in-house. You know, you go into in-house, you know, like, you know, your tight circle, okay? And you go to the elites, all right, or the, the bankers and your different elite families, okay? They got they got a tight circle. And see what's happening is confidence is leaving, okay, from amongst these ruling Edomite families, man. Okay? And ultimately, you know, the, the, the earth, you know, this man's dwelling, the earth is giving it to his hand. But what's happening, we're seeing, you know, hey, the the the, the, the control of the earth is slipping away from this man. Okay? And he's not able to enchant like he used to. See, he has confidence in those things. We're going to get that. He had confidence in those things. He was able to win through enchantments. Okay? And see, this truth is a major hindrance in this man's agenda going forward. Okay? That's why he's setting up that persecution. <laughs> All right? But we're seeing this man move with lack of confidence. That's why, like, what you see them small hats doing over there, you know, in Gaza, that's an act of desperation, man. You know, when you really peep this man, this man is moving desperate. <laughs> okay? So, when you get desperate, that means your confidence ain't there. Okay? If you, you know, you watch sports, okay, and the team, you know, is losing, and they start coming up with gimmicks and you know, nothing is consistent. You know, they trying new things on the spot and it ain't working. Then, you know, they, they're desperate. You can see a boxer when they get desperate, a fighter. You know, when, when, when his, you can see a fighter when his confidence leaves and he gets desperate. Okay, and this is what we're seeing with Esau. His confidence is being rooted out. Okay, because he can't stop this word from going forth until the Lord wants to stop it. And he can't stop. All right, prophecy from fulfilling itself. Okay? Because he knows within prophecy, he loses. You know? He loses more than anyone. This is Job 18 and 14. says, His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Okay? It shall bring him to the king of terrors, which is ultimately Yahweh Shai. You know? Which hey, he uh, uh, he get it from what his father. All right, when well, they knew the Most High is the Allah Shaja, terrible demon like power. Well, Yahweh Shai said, "What well, him and his father are one." Okay, and he's gonna deal. Yahweh Shai is gonna deal with Esau as a terrible demon like power. But see, it says it shall bring him to the king of terrors. So when you what that means, Esau's steps is leading him. To where he's going to be confronted by Yahweh Shai, man. Everything that this devil is doing is leading up to him being confronted by Yahweh Shai. That's why Yahweh Shai, all right, is coming, all right, from from Edom with dyed garments from Basra. Okay, represents the slaughter of this man's rulership, man. Okay, and the slaughter on the people of Edom. You know, and the remnant of your Edomites going to captivity. Okay? <laughs> so, 
Let's go back to show that the devil is weary. As the scriptures say, Isaiah 47. And um, I want to get this in 12. Okay? Because the, hey, the Lord is drawing back that left hand. Okay? And, and, and the one that he is able to enchant, that was given to him. Okay? But what's happening, you know, wickedness is not having free course anymore. Okay, the Lord has raised up a standard. See, wickedness, he can play, you know, the good guy. You know, when there wasn't a standard lifted against his devil. Okay, he can play the good guy. He can play, you know, like he's just a great humanitarian. You see, he can play victim. You know, when when when, when there wasn't a standard lift. Now it's a standard lifted against his devil. And uh, what he's doing is becoming foolish. Okay? So why you get Isaiah 47 and 12? It says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. And you read this in the NLT, Isaiah 47 and 12. It says, Now use your magical charms. Use the spells you have worked uh, at all these years. Maybe they will do some good. Maybe they can make someone afraid of you. Okay? So, the Lord is mocking this man. Okay? This is a scripture of mockery. Okay? Because the Lord knew. Alright? The Lord knew that this devil, you know, would get so confident in his witchcraft and his military. And, you know, his influence his schemes, his subtlety, the Lord knew that he would get so confident in that that he was going to start to uh, um, drain him from He was going to um, start to strip him of it, man. You know, the closer he gets to his plan, the more, more that the Lord is stripping this man. Okay, that's why he's just going to get to the point where he's just going to get cornered. <clears throat> oh, so lucky verse 13 said, Thou art weary. In the multitude of thy counsels, let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the money pronosticators stand up and save thee from the things that shall come upon thee. Okay? So, what's happening, all right, is he's weary in this council, man. Okay? This devil is on the back foot, man. He, he jump on TV with them suits and, you know, with these speeches and Hey, you see, throwing these words around, but this devil is weary. These the, the the elites are weary, man. Okay, you get this word weary in the Hebrew. Okay, which is um la ha, all right la ha ha. If I'm saying it right, it says to be weary, to be impatient. See, you see how the devil moving; he's impatient. You can see he's being rushed. Okay? It says to be tired of something, to weary oneself, to make one weary, to exhaust, man. And the truth is wearing this devil out, man. Okay? This word. You know? Because remember, this is our victory. This is his defeat. So what we're saying, and as we're saying these things, these things are happening, and he's subjugated to it, man. Okay, everything that he plans on doing, we, we the, the Lord put the spirit on his men to tell him. And the fact that he got to do it shows that what, man? Okay, he's not in control. Okay, he's not the God that he portrays himself to be <laughs> right in the earth. You know, and it's being exposed. All right, and one thing about it, like, you know, you play. Like you watch sports, you know, it can be a team that can be, you know, um, be on the run. You know, they're winning all these games back to back. But then there would be a team that exposed something in them, exposed a way to beat them. Well, guess what? The whole league jump on it. You know, everybody in the league, you know, picks up their formula. 
And this is what we're seeing in the world. Everybody is in the spirit of exposing this devil, man. Okay? They, 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 he's been exposed. And now he's going to be exploited. Everybody, all right, is, 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 is um pretty much picking, <laughs> all right, at Esau's weakness, man. Okay? The, 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 the earth knows that this man is coming to a weak point. All right? So, yeah, man, this man, you know, he, all right, he's reacting. Okay? He, he's reacting, man. That's why, you know, we see, you know, um, you know, he tried to come with the, the Jam Master J, you know, was uh, Grand Master J. That's him reacting to the truth. You know, some militant nigga that was an Egyptologist slash Israelite, you know. Then he came with the vocab. That was, that's him reacting to the truth, man. Okay? And he got these false camps that he's infiltrating, set up, teaching doctrine. Now Jake teaching hell. Jake still want to teach Christ. Jake want to teach um, the MOTB is is, is um, Christianity. Okay, that's Esau reacting, man. All right, to this word, he's not on the on, on the offense anymore. See, like I said when there wasn't no standard against this devil. He was on the offense, man. He can say and do, you know, with no resistance. He was just running plays. But now there's a standard being lifted. Okay, the truth is being defended. And not only defended, the, hey, the Lord got his men on the offensive, man. And his devil, hey, he, he's bagging up. He's cornered. Okay? And you keep reading. Ain't no good news for this devil, man. Okay? It says, verse 47, it says, Behold, and he's talking to, you know, all the, the pronosticators and the stargazers. This is why you see also, as the Lord has these signs in heavens, you see this devil, because he, cause the, he, he operates off those signs. Okay, you go into the, the ancient Chaldeans, they move based off astrology. Okay, Esau is making all these moves because pretty much the Lord is giving this man directions in the heavens. You see, and the Lord knows this devil. See, the Lord knows how to, how, how to manipulate Esau. Esau, he gets off on manipulating the masses. Well, the Lord knows how to manipulate this man. Okay. To, to get, all right, the desired will that the Lord want from this devil, man. Okay, Esau does it. He manipulates the masses to get, you know, a desired, you know, reaction or particular results. Well, the most high, he's the master of that, man. Okay? And he's getting the desired results that he wants from you devils, man. Okay? You get the sea help in World War Three, which is the end of you devils, man. Okay, and it says, but, um, yeah, it says, but they shall be a stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame, there shall not be a cold to warm, nor a fire to sit before it, thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth, they shall wander every one to his corner, None shall save thee, man. So the Lord got the earth falling back from Esau, man. There was a time when, you know, the earth was in complete submission to this devil, man. Okay? And his doctrines and his agendas. All right? But well, now you're seeing there's a different spirit in the earth, man. Okay? And the Lord is isolating this man for judgment. He is they going to get judged too. All right? Well, Esau is going to be that great example for judgment, man. That's why he's going uh, he to turn America, the Lord going to turn America into a desert. Okay? And all these astrologers and pronosticators and stargazers, okay? They're just like in ancient Egypt, man. They're going to be in scrapes. Okay? So, yeah, man, we're watching this man react to this word, man, and he shook up. All right? He's going to get desperate for this. 
And that's what the Lord wants. He wants them, he wants them to come after the prophets. He wants them, you know, to persecute the believers. He all over is written. Okay? And it's all this uh, uh carnal reaction from Esau Edom. Okay, to try to establish the enterprise, his enterprise, but hey, we it's, it's already written to fail. Okay, in order for it to fail, he got to try it. That's the only way he can fail. You know, so just the fact that he's attempting it, he's playing right into, okay, the will of Yahweh by Shem al -Shai. Okay? So, Lord, will, you know, you brothers, all right, and... You so so the edify to the next time I say shallow one. Call me out shallow. Bob will bow soon. Shallow one.